What is going on everybody? It is Alex from Everything for iPod. If you've heard of the new OnePlus One phone that's coming out, you probably have heard of the Smash the Pass contest, where 100 people will get to smash their old phones in return for a OnePlus One for just $1. I was one of those people selected, so today I am going to be smashing this Galaxy S5 with a fishail. So this is the homemade potato gun I will be using to shoot the Galaxy S5. It's really just a bunch of PVC put together with the grill igniter on here for the ignition. And then you fill the end with hairspray and shove a potato down the barrel and then boom goes the potato. So this is what I'm going to be using. And if you want to make one of these yourself, I'm not saying you should because it's kind of dangerous, but if you wanted to, you can get all the parts at a local home uh, hardware store or something for about $40. I built this at Home Depot for, I think it was $42 or something like that. So it's not incredibly hard to make and it's a lot of fun, even if you're not shooting phones with it. If you screw it off, it's a little bit tough to get off, but that's good so we don't lose any pressure. You can see the chamber, and this is actually where we spray our propellant. So we're going to be using hairspray because it's highly flammable, and that's good. And then right on top here, there's this little igniter. And when you press that, a little spark goes off in that metal box there. And that's what's going to ignite the hairspray and send the potato flying. All right, so before I actually hit the phone, I just want to kind of show you the power that this has and the noise it makes because it's really kind of fascinating. So I'm going to pick a potato and just shove it down into the barrel flip it upside down and give it a push just like that and then take a broken hockey stick and just shove it all the way down and unscrew the PVC cap it's a pain in the butt can't <laughs> get it sorry man <laughs> really and then I get my cap and my hairspray and I'm just going to spray some hairspray in here and then my grill igniter is right here so I'm going to turn around So here's the Galaxy S5. I have it taped to a tree, and if I hit apps right here and go into settings, we'll actually be able to scroll down to about the device and take a look at the model number. So you can see device name is Samsung SM G900A, and the model number is also Samsung SM G900A, which is the model number for the AT&T Galaxy S5. So what I'm going to do now is back away a little bit, don't want to hit my camera with the potato, put it right here, and I'm going to load it up and uh, shoot at the phone. Now while I'm setting up the gun and getting ready to shoot the phone with the potato, I just wanted to ask you guys a quick question. So down in the comments below, let me know, do you think the OnePlus One will be a very successful phone given its price tag of $300? I think it's going to be a very close call between the OnePlus One and the Nexus 5. I think those phones are directly uh, in competition with each other. They're really targeting the same market for unlocked uh, smartphones, and they're really coming in at the same price range, and it's not ridiculous like the S5. So let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments. And here we go. Let's take a look. So we have potato all over the back cover. We've got potato all over the screen with a cracked screen. There's actually no surface cracks, it looks like, on the glass. There's only cracks under the glass. So it actually withstanded that pretty well. It's very bent, very, very bent. And uh, let's take a look at the battery. The battery is bent in half. It's really, really hot. So the phone kind of exploded, um, but overall, it's not, oh, it's not that bad. You can see the cracks all in the screen right there. Potato all over it. But uh, let's see what else we can do to this phone, because I would not consider this destroyed yet. Even though it's bent, it may still be able to power on. So let's try to force the battery in, snap the back cover on as best as possible, and uh, hopefully this powers on. Look at that, I felt it vibrate, but the screen is not powering on. So the screen's completely dead, which means this phone is done. Um, it's completely destroyed. But uh, let's see, you hear that sound there, it's powering on, you hear the AT&T. 
nothing on the screen, but let's see how else we can physically abuse this phone. I'm still gonna see what I can do by running it over, and not only am I running it over with the car, I'm running it over on a gravel road, so this is really going to do some damage. So I'm gonna prop it up near the tire, and not only am I gonna do that, but here's a big little rock that we'll kinda put up in a weird way, and uh, we'll put the phone like that and see what kind of damage we can cause. So I'll leave the camera right here, and we'll see what, what happens. All right, so here's some tire treads on it. I can already tell this looks bad. Oh, that looks really bad. You can see the rock caused a ton of damage. Wow, that's not good. All right, I'm gonna see what else I can do. I'm gonna kind of prop it up this way. So let's uh, let's move back to where the car is and let's uh, put it right here. Set the camera up. I'm just going to kind of pile some rocks way under it, on top of it, why not? And uh, let's see what happens when I do that. So, this should be pretty interesting. Let's see, battery's now peeling up, probably shouldn't touch that. Back cover, destroyed, phone destroyed. Look at the screen, it is so textured. And this phone is done, completely done. Like I said earlier, I didn't just smash this Galaxy S5 for no reason at all. I actually won the OnePlus One Smash the Past contest. So as a result, I will be getting a new phone for $1, the OnePlus One. So if you would like to see content relating to that phone as soon as I get it, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos, including videos on that phone. Again, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, and I'll catch you in my next video. See ya.